When I was a young writer, I had this idea that I wanted to learn how people really talk. So I took a tape recorder and I hid it under our kitchen table. I recorded my mom and grandmother <laughs> under this typical <laughs> morning. And I just transcribed it. And you couldn't make a bit of sense of it. It was all sentence fragments. Did you get the thing under the... Yeah, no, no, I won't. Yeah, you can. Sure. Later. But he's going to... Yeah, he is. So in the story, you transcribe that directly. It makes no sense. So I think one of the keys, paradoxically, to good dialogue is for the writer to say to herself, this is poetry. This is not real speech. It's poetry that's going to make you think it sounds like real speech. It's going to simulate the rhythms of actual speech. For me, when I realized that, it was the liberation to say, don't worry about how people talk. You've heard that your whole life. You know how people talk. But you're trying to make the dialogue serve the story. And one of the ways it does that, actually, is to have a propulsive effect. I read some good dialogue the other day, and what I noticed about it was it was pulling me through the story at almost twice the speed of the descriptive sections. Two separate human beings, or three in this case, were coming alive in my mind almost faster than I could process them. That's good dialogue writing.